everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the best way to choose the color of your cabinets. Now, a lot of people think that the minute they choose their cabinet color, well, then it's downhill from there and then that's going to help them narrow down the countertop color. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen. If you choose your cabinet color first, then that immediately curates your countertop colors because now your choices are a lot more slim. But if you don't know which countertop to install, it's not gonna get easier when you choose the cabinet color because once you finally decide what it is, you don't wanna be stuck to a cabinet color that may or may not work with your countertop. So. This is how you do it. I was recently in a client's home and when I got there, because I was there to help her choose her kitchen finishes, she had her countertop and her backsplash and everything was just laid out flat on her chocolate brown dining table. So there's the first mistake because you can't see color when it's all just laid out flat like that. So the first thing you wanna do is lay your finishes exactly how they're going to be when you install them. So here I've got just a medium brown hardwood floor. This is Calcutta Novo with uh, Cedar Stone and this is Misty Carrera right here. So what you do is you lay them down because now the countertop's going to be horizontal along with the floor, right? Let's do our potential cabinet colors first. So then you plunk them up and what I usually do is I turn my, I just turn around whatever sample I happen to have so that, I mean, here you can see that I've got an off-white wall here, but just so that you're creating, you're always creating a clean backdrop with your samples. So you can use any, any um, poster board for this, but if you're using my large color samples, that's the easiest way to, to just instantly create like a clean backdrop. Okay, so then I've got a white, true white and an off-white here. This is Chantilly Lace. And this is white dove and then the next thing you want to do this is a really good tip most big box stores sell white off-white and cream subway tile these are really great control tiles to have with you especially if you're a designer and you are helping your clients choose tiles because immediately you can start to see if you're dealing with a true white tile or an off-white tile or a cream tile because you've got the ones that you know are that color because there's so many tiles that are just grayish. So how do you know that they're grayish? Well, you compare them to your control tiles, which is what I have here. Okay, so then this is my true white backsplash tile here. And then I've got my off-white backsplash tile here. And then you can start to see like which one is right. Now, can I do a true white over here with Calcutta Novo? Well, Calcutta Novo is actually a little bit grayish. And so if you had decided that, okay, I'm just gonna go with true white because that's gotta go with there most things, right? And then later you decided that Calcutta Novo was the countertop choice, the best countertop choice, you could not go with Chantilly Lace because Calcutta Novo is actually grayish and taupe. Taupe actually looks really good with it. So let's just walk through what my client was considering when I got to her house. So when I got to her house, she had chosen taupe LVP flooring, luxury vinyl plant flooring. I don't have any taupe flooring here, but I'm just going to use this ranch wood sample because it is identical to the LVP that she was considering. So let's put that down here. And then, so Calcutta Novo, you can see, actually has this taupe, actually has some nice taupe veins on it. So if you plunk that down, it matches great. Now, how do, you, how do I know that this is grayish? Well, when I put my cream sample right next to it, it's too yellow. And that's how you know that cream is not actually the correct way to go at all. So basically, you're in the world of off-white, or you would choose just a lighter grayish color perhaps for the cabinets so that would tie in with that color. However, she was considering Collingwood. She had a true white backsplash tile 
and Collingwood was the color that she was considering for her cabinets because she'd seen it in a celebrity designer's kitchen. Well, when I placed them all together like this, I said, you know, if you go this route, it's all really gray now. You've got like a, you know, gray feeling taupey floor. Now you're gonna have Collingwood, which is a bit of a purple gray for your cabinets. You know, your whole kitchen's gonna feel gray and well, you know, it's 2020 right now and gray is already dated now that the black and white trend is here. So in this celebrity designer's kitchen, she had this countertop, but she had this great classic and timeless medium brown floor. So Collingwood worked great because it created this balance of warm and cool. And that's what you want to do when you're choosing colors is that you don't want everything to be cool or everything to be warm. You want to create a balance of warm and cool. And so if you're going to copy someone else's kitchen, make sure you're actually copying the kitchen almost identically, or you're just not going to end up with the same result and you're going to be disappointed. So always choose your countertop first because everything flows from there. And if you need some help choosing your countertop or any of your kitchen finishes, I can help through my e-design department. We've got kitchen packages and you can even just buy like a countertop package or a cabinet package if you want to. So hope that helps. Post your comments below.